Hey everyone. I'm so excited that uh, this response was so helpful um, for so many of you. So um, there's been a few requests for me to share what the system looks like in action. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes um, and uh, go through this setup. And so hopefully seeing it makes uh, even more sense than what I wrote out there. Um, so I haven't gone through and done um, my kind of morning uh, startup routine in my today view yet. Um, typically this section would have anywhere between like 10 and 20, 20 items for the day in it. Um, so there's just a couple of pre-populated things in here for now. Over on the sidebar though is really where you can see the magic happening at and I'll go through these one by one. I'll start with my project organization and setup over here. You can see the, the top level lists that I had mentioned in my post here. So I've got projects, areas, ticklers, someday maybe. Um, and then I also have lists over here, which might not be relevant to everybody, but I'll touch on it in a few minutes. Um, and then one other that I didn't mention, but is really only um, relevant if you are a manager, a leader of people of some kind or have regular agendas and meetings with people. Um, we have a company to do -ist workspace set up um, where we've got a folder of agendas. And so I keep all of my meeting items with my team, my employees, um, people inside of this as well. Um, so inside of these top level lists here, if I expand these, you'll see that I have all of my active project lists under here. And then I have all of my areas of responsibility lists here. And these act as single action lists um, at the end of the day. Um, at any one time, I typically have between 12 and 15 active projects. If I get more than that, I've just figured out that that's a little too much for my plate, so I'll try and pare it down. But as long as I'm within that 12 to 15 projects across all domains of life um, that I am actively overseeing anyway, um, I'm in a, a comfortable space there. One important note for anybody who's in a leadership level position is, I only put projects here that I actively need to be taking actions on. I don't have projects on here that I am overseeing other people, but I don't need to directly be working on. We have other company management software for that. Um, if that's you and you're using Todoist for your company, you're probably using a Teams one over here, in which case you would have something like a, a Teams folder and all of your Teams projects. So I just wanted to note that caveat. We do have a separate project management software for my Teams work, and I will mirror any of those projects where I am actually doing tasks in my own list over here so that I can put my actions here. But anything that I'm just overseeing for a team, I review that independently and separately. Um, so again, active projects, areas of responsibility across all domains of life here. Tickler is interesting. I basically just set this up to intake anything that I can't actually work on until a specific date. And I typically only put things in here that I can't do for weeks or months in advance. Um, I set this up as a calendar view so that it's easy for me to scan. But you'll see here that it's fairly sparse. And so as I scroll through this, there's only a couple of items every so often. Um, my goal isn't to try and fill this up. It's just to have a place to get these pesky little tasks that I can't do anything with right now out of my main working lists so that these stay nice and clean and organized. Um, and then I have my someday maybe lists over here. This is really where I put anything and everything that is interesting to me or I think is a good idea or I might want to tackle at some point beyond, say, the next month, um, but is not actionable right now. Um, I put all of those kinds of things in these ideas lists here. And then I'll review these once or twice a month um, to see if anything is relevant or I've already committed to one of these things. Um, so, yeah, that's what that is for. Um, and then lists, again, just to touch on it, um, I just have a couple of random lists that aren't action-specific lists necessarily, but I've got movies and shows, books I want to read, um, house chores. Um, uh, this is a shared list with my wife, a store shared list with my wife. Um, and then I also have this routines list, which has been a helpful thing for me. I basically have all of my routines separated from my main actions list here. And I have sections for daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annual routines here. And that basically just keeps actions I need to do on a recurring interval at specific times, again, out of the way of my main working lists here. Um, and then they just show up on the day and time that I need to do them. Some of these have reminders on them at specific times as I need that. But again, that keeps 
um, me from having to view around these actions in my main working lists, um, and it keeps these clean and organized. Um, so that's what what uh, is in routines there. Um, and then again, agendas here. I'm not going to go into that because there's sensitive information in these, but um, I just essentially have um, lists for each person that I meet with. And I have, uh, those are shared lists with them. And so we've got agenda items in there that, that we can uh, go through. Um, so that's that's my project uh, list set up there. Um, and if you go into filters and labels, you can see that I have focus, easy, errand, calls, home. Um, one that I didn't mention was waiting. Um, I also use a, a waiting tag for anything that I'm waiting on from other people or to come in you know, or something like that. So, um, and then I have uh, these filters set up here, and this is really where the magic happens for me. This priority filter grabs all of my tasks that are labeled priority one, priority two, or priority three. And then I group them in columns based on their tag. And then I sort the columns based on the priority order. And so you can see here, I'm kind of getting down to the end of the week, and so these lists are, are shrinking up. But I really try and keep this as roughly, like, what am I trying to do this week? Um, and that way, this is like a working list for my week. Um, and so you see I have my focus items here, which I'm not sure I'll be able to get through all of these by, you know, the end of the week or through Saturday, but we'll see. Um, and then just some easy items. These are basically low energy things that I could grab and cherry pick at any one time. And I've got calls um, and then just uh, a home item here. Um, sometimes if I have errands that are high priority, those are marked and would show up in here as well. Um, but at the beginning and end of every day, this is really how I plan and execute the day ahead. So I might come in here and say that I want to commit to these three top priority things. And then I want to cherry pick like these two tasks for the day and like make this one call. I would mark all of those as today. And then that way they all show up in my today view here. Um, and, and so this priority filter is really primarily the one that I'm working from. I do have an anytime filter set up. This is the exact same setup, except for it just shows me anything that is marked P4. So I just have this in case I happen to have a crazy week where I do in fact make it through everything that I've marked as high priority. I can then come in here and just make in the moment decisions about anything else that I maybe want to tackle. Um, I have a calls filter set up um, and saved over here. Um, just I typically do these while I'm driving. And so it's great on my phone app to just have an easy place to one click and get into these. Same with errands. They're on the go. I have them all listed here and then waiting for um, I just have organized by project and I just put in like a little W to signify a task is waiting. And then like, what's the date that I started waiting for that thing on? Um, and so that's how I organize these. So um, yeah, that's, that's the system in a nutshell. Um, I do during my weekly review, um, have a separate note inside of my notes app. It, um, and it's very simple, but it's just a short list of like the key outcomes or objectives that I want to try and hit for that week. Um, and that's typically three to five items long, um, for work and maybe one to two kind of personal domain things. Um, but the, the reason that I do that is if I'm looking at my focus tasks, these are a lot of things that I need to do, but they're not necessarily the outcomes that I want to realize. Um, so a great example, I'm just going to use this and hopefully this isn't too sensitive, but um, I'm working on one of my teams to hire a new content marketer or content manager. And so I've got five items here related to that outcome. During my weekly review and on my little week plan document, one line item says um, something to the effect of um, complete the or or have the hiring the content manager uh, position listing live. That's like a goal for the whole week. And there was, you know, several things that are involved in that. And so I can just make it a goal for myself that I want to do that, achieve that one thing for the week. And then these are the five or 10 or whatever things that I tasks that I need to do to accomplish that. So um, anyway, that that weekly uh, like objectives document um, is kind of cherry picked from Cal Newport's idea. I just have a way simpler version of it. So anyway, this system, it uh, it it keeps humming along anytime that I try and make it more complex than this, it bogs me down, which reminds me of one last thing I'd like to touch on. And that's that. Um, Early on when I was learning about GTD and all these other productivity methods, David Allen talks a lot about trying to capture everything so that you can get it out of your mind. 
I actually found that practice for me was incredibly overwhelming um, because I would just end up with these really bloated lists of things that I was never actually getting to. And then that just stressed me out. Um, and so I've since done a 180 and I've actually practiced just letting most things float right on past me. Um, so I don't capture them anywhere. I don't even put them in an ideas list. Um, I only try and capture the things that are most relevant to my current active projects and commitments. Um, or my um, most important goals or current objectives. Anything else, I just let it sort of float on by and trust that it will resurface by itself if it's truly that important. Um, and that lets me keep my list really lean, mean, simple. Um, and, and that also applies at the project level. Like there's a lot of things that actually need to be done for any one of these projects for the whole project to be considered completed at the end. But I don't capture every single one of those actions, um, especially not before I can do it or before it's relevant. And the reason that I do that is because projects shape shift so much as you're moving through them. And so if I come up with this massive list of here's every single task that I need to complete in order for this project to be done, that always, always changes during the process and the progress of that project. And so rather than doing that, I just end up capturing the next few tasks that I for sure am going to be doing related to that project. And then I let these lists sort of self build and self evolve as the project itself goes along and matures. And that keeps these project lists nice and lean and mean. I think the most important thing is actually having a list of the projects that are active themselves and not necessarily the list of actions within the projects um, because it allows me to be dynamic and make really game time decisions about what's important right now and what do I want to push forward. And um, so anyway, hopefully that's a helpful point. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of nuance and other things that I'm not thinking about in this moment right now. And so if anybody has any questions, send me a message or reply to a comment here. I'm happy to answer any of it. Um, again, this has worked for me for a long time and the simpler that I keep it, the more effective that I am um, at just staying on top of life and having everything um, be a smooth rhythm.